Hello, everyone. This is Doug Davis, broker in charge at Karambi Realty, and here with another session of Ask Doug. And today, I'm going to speak about uh, the basic point on uh, what you can or cannot do on raising rent in Hawaii. So, okay, so in Hawaii, there's no rent control. So yes, you can raise the rent and there's no limit to it. Um, however, you have to be careful with what kind of rental agreement that you have because it'd be different. So if you have a month a month, you must give the tenant uh, 45 days or greater notice of raising the rent. Okay, if you have a lease, the other type, a lease is a contract for a set period of time. So your contractual obligations are set in stone, so to speak. So you may not raise the rent, but you can once it's ended. So you can renegotiate whatever you want, rent increase or other terms uh, when the lease is terminated. And it would be a good idea for both sides, tenant and landlord to discuss what the plan is before the um, lease has terminated. So if they're moving out, you should know um, in, in on Oahu, and you should have at least 60 day notice from the tenant. So we put that in our uh, rental agreements with the tenant. So they give us 60 day notice so that we can have proper advertising so that we can get a tenant in without having a vacancy. You need about two months ahead of time, head start on that. So if they um, are late, you can charge up to a maximum of 8% of the amount due. Uh, you may not have any retaliatory rental in increases. So if you don't like the tenant and you raise their rent and it's a, a large amount uh, and it's retaliatory and it looks and feels like retaliatory, you can't do it. So don't don't uh, be emotional about it and give them a big increase to try to get them out because you don't like them for some reason. Not a good idea and you can get stuck in legal morass with that. Um, again, there's no restriction on the rental increase, um, but again, you have to give proper notice. Um, and there's no restriction on how often you can do an increase, but you have to comply with the type of lease. And the last thing is if there's a bounce check, you can charge up to a max of $30 for a bounce check. We don't, we try not to do any checks. We try to do uh, ACH uh, auto deduct from checking accounts for all of our property management. Uh, and it makes it uh, very simple that way. Um, oh, and when it's due, uh, um, is there a, a grace period? The answer is no, unless you write that in. The rent is due on the day you, you say it's due. So if it's the first, then they must pay, the tenant must pay on that day, or you can charge a, a late fee um if if that is um if it's late and that must be in writing so in order to get that um not a good idea to do verbal rental agreements <laughs> there's too many things that you need to agree upon um okay so that's it um in a nutshell different things to deal with the uh, uh, the rental um laws here in hawaii hope that was helpful and um Please uh, give me your questions, uh, love to answer them. And uh, if you have any property management needs or are wanting to sell something or buy something, uh, please let me know. And until next week, uh, look forward to your questions. Thanks.